the version of um, Long and Winding Road yeah. on Anthology 3 is the first take. So that's kind of interesting. And it doesn't have all the funny singing and violins and stuff on it, which I don't think I would have originally put on. Because uh, after we'd finished the original Let It Be album, and uh, it was mixed by Glyn Johns. Funnily enough, it was an unplugged album. Very bare, very stripped back. You saw the Beatles naked, really. But I remember going home uh, with Linda and sitting and listening to it. Just thinking, wow, you know, this is kind of dangerous. We're, we're stripped there. Boy, it sounds good. There's something very genuine about it. I like about the album is you hear that we're still getting on with the work in a very good way. Because even though there was a lot of troubles going on, and even though there's kind of this inevitable split happening, just because we were kind of going our own directions, we're still able to laugh, like you say, through Rocky Raccoon. We're still able to just get hysterics. Um, we're still not too worried because you can hear it on like Digger Pony. Me and John are really having a good time. 